Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Ebony Wilson and you're tuning in to White Crow Tarot. You're tuning in to my first ever recorded readings and I want to thank you in advance for coming to and supporting the channel. If you feel inspired by these readings or if anything resonates with you, be sure to follow my channel, click like on this video, and subscribe for notifications. On the table are all the decks that I'll be using for this guided reading. I hope that what I uncover today for you and somehow resonates. Keep in mind that time is fluid and energy may not resonate with all signs or with your sign. You may find that you resonate more with another reading over this one. These are my first readings, so I'm essentially testing a, a method of delivery that I hope will resonate for all signs moving forward. I will be building stories with the Rider Wait to Row. If something is critical to you or it somehow resonates, please let me know by leaving a comment in the description. If it does not resonate, then it's not then it may not be meant for you. Please don't try to force anything that is not related to your story. If it fits, let it stand. If it doesn't fit, if it doesn't resonate, leave it off. I've meditated over the energy. I'm going to shuffle the cards now and we'll see you in your reading. Welcome all water signs to your general reading for the month of November. My name is Ebony and I'm here to do your guided message. This is a general reading for the month of November for all water signs. And the way we're going to conduct this is we're going to start by pulling your moon energy. And they're then going to clarify by pulling a guidance angel card from my white like oracle. And I'm going to also pull your stepping energy for the month of November, what your energy for the month of November your personification through the Isis Oracle deck. But they're going to pull a dream card, which we will reveal at the very end. I'm then going to also do a love reading, general love aspects, followed by uh, exp we're going to build a story with the Rider of Wake tarot decks. I've got two that I'm using. Sorry guys, I'm, I'm already feeling just there's a pressure on this already. I haven't even started. I don't know if it's me or if it's just what I'm picking up on here, but um, bear with me. This is my first reading for the signs, for any water signs, and you're joining me, so welcome. After we've built your story, I will then pull some charms to show you anything that may relate. Please keep in mind, leave whatever resonates with you, take it, leave what does not. If it resonates, perfect. If not, leave the rest. Don't try to force anything in this reading to fit if it's not for you, not someone you know, or not your story. Okay? Take what resonates, leave what does not. All right. Spirit. Show me what I need to see, please. Just tap into all water signs, sending you all love. There is a heaviness on this reading already. Slight heavy. I just feel a pressure. Let's look at moon energy. Ooh. Okay. Moon energy, please. This one already wants to come out. I'm not going to pull an angel card, angel guidance card from a white light oracle deck. This is what your angels want you to know. For those of you who may be healing or going through something in the month of November, this is what your angels want you to know. I will be clarifying these cards. These are new decks for me. So I will be clarifying the messages from the books as well to give you any clear insight for whatever else you may need to know. Thank you, Spirit. Let's go all water signs. 
All water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Show me what I need to see, please. For the greater good, for the month of November, for all water signs. Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please. For all water signs, the month of November. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, this one. I will reveal these cards. Bear with me. There's a method to the madness. We're building your energy, then we're going to build your story, and at the end we pull your dream card. It's really beautiful the way this unfolds. So just bear with me. Okay. Let's get... What are you stepping into? What are my water signs embodying? What is the persona for all my water signs for the month of November? Please and thank you, Spirit. Show me clearly. Show me what I need to see. Show my beautiful water signs what they need to see for the month of November. Thank you, Spirit. Show me what I need to see, please. Month of November. Show me what I need to see. Thank you. Now switching to the Dream Oracle deck. This is going to be your crowning energy. After we build the story, it may be pertinent to realize what we do with our dreams, what our dreams might be telling us at the end. So we're going to build that for you. Ooh, got some blockage going on. We've got some serious blockage going on. Okay. This is this energy I'm feeling, guys. Give me a good reading for my water signs. What is going on? What is going on with my water signs for the month of November? Show me what I need to see, please. Yes. I feel like both of those wanted to come out. We're going to take both of them. I normally just take one, but I feel like both of those want to come out. Okay. All right. All right, guys. Let's start. Let's clarify. So your moon energy for the month of November, Ooh. adjustments are required, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, this is this energy I'm feeling already, the moon energy, adjustments are required, third quarter moon. We are in the sign of Scorpio right now. This is Scorpio season. Transformation is happening. All right, let's get your white light or oracle. There's a duality going on. Already picking up with that. Some, it's like half of you and hiding half of you are seen. You got these, you see these edges of these branches are touching the moon trying to get clarity. Nothing's blinding you, but it's like those last little remnants of you who are trying to break free. Big, I feel a big transformation in this read already. Harnessing that purple light. Okay. What is your guided message from your angels? Uh, perfume of Sophia. Perfume of Sophia. Beautiful white light. Perfume of Sophia. I'm going to read this for you. Because I wouldn't want to tell you wrong anything about this card. I'm going to look at the energy as well. Feeling drawn to her crown chakra here. Some of you are opening your eyes. Some of you are intuitive. Very intuitive. Might even have fellow tarot readers looking at this. It's just what I'm feeling. Your step, your opening, 
you're opening your third eye chakra here. Some of you are divinely being guided as well. That's why there's a shift and there's a pull on this moon energy. It's just already what I'm getting. All right. <laughs> okay. 12, number 12. Perfume of Sophia, 89, 89. That's me too, 89, my birth year. Ah. Okay. The message from Sophia is you will be able to sense the best timing and approach to take to create space for healing and resolution. Connect to your body and ground yourself in the here and now with body friendly practices. You will find your way intuitively and instinctively even through confusing circumstances. Where one moment you are sure the answer is no and the next you are sure it is yes. Give up trying to figure out the answer right now and remain open with positive but relaxed expectation that clarity shall emerge spontaneously according to divine timing. That's exactly what I'm saying with this card. Universe, your angels, guides want you to be patient. You're opening your third crown, your eye, third, your um, crown chakra. Okay. But the universe is wanting you to ground yourself. Your moon card is, is telling you to ground yourself with this, with this dual energy here. Stuff is confusing, that's why it's half is unclear, that's why the moon is half covered here. Okay, make sure you can see that. That's your message from your guiding white light. Alright, we're going to get your Isis Oracle. What are you embodying, spirit, for the month of... November. Wow. Wow. Like water signs, the brother in darkness, overcoming negative energy with feminine power. This is what you're stepping into. This is what you're embodying for the month of November. It's beautiful. This is absolutely gorgeous. Some of you guys are going through a heavy transformation. I feel that. I sense that. <sighs> I feel this even somewhat for me too. So I'm, I might be getting some of Scorpio's messages. Just as e e blah, 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 blah. See, I can't even get my words out right now. This is amazing. Oh, I'm excited to get into this. Okay. So I'm going to pull some romance cards for you, your romance heart chakra, heart energy. Oh, water signs. What is your energy? Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see. Water signs. This. Turn this over, right? I like to be intuitively inspired. It's hard to shuffle these big hearts, but <laughs> we're going to try our best here, guys. Okay. By the way, I will read this Isis Oracle card for you at the end with your dream cards. But this is the energy. I forgot to do that <laughs> the other day, so don't mind me. We will read that at the very end with your dream cards, okay? Okay. What does my water signs need to know? What do my water signs need? Ooh, hello. This one. What else, please, spare? What are my water signs? Yep, this one. Past, present, future, outcome. This is how we're building a story. Keep in mind, time is fluid. You may be coming out of something. You may have already gone through something, coming into something new. Cross watchers, keep in mind, too, that this is energy is fluid. You're welcome. Take what resonates leads what doesn't. Okay, what are you stepping into in love? What does your love angels want you to know? Wow. Scorpio, you have a secret admirer. 
Scorpios, this is beautiful. This is about to get interesting. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. There's a heaviness here, though, so some of you may be being watched. <laughs> some of you, you know, may be dealing with something pretty heavy. Some of you could be the secret admirer. That's another thing. That's something else I'm getting here. We have surrender. Surrender. At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go, and all will work out. That's what I'm getting here. All these adjustments, see? Lining up with the adjustments card and the moon card. You're surrendering because you are making adjustments at this time in your life right now, Scorpio. I don't know why I said Scorpio. Maybe a Scorpio out there needed to hear this. This is for all water signs, by the way. Please take what doesn't. I may just say something randomly, but I'm in, I'm going to assume whoever I, whoever I, that was for was needing to hear it or see it. Oh, but again, this is a general reading for all water signs. Okay. We have the message from your spirit is, it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. See how she's wrapped and cocooned, protected in her in these angel wings, like a little egg in this fetal position. She's healing, taking this time, doing her work. You guys are doing the work. That's another thing. Some of you guys are doing some pretty heavy work and soul searching opening this crown chakra third eye third eye chakra crown and third eye I feel like it's it's a mix of both you're really doing some deep work here okay this beautiful pink heart and the wings like your heart is taking flight when you pass from this world you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love that's the message of this card Beautiful. All right, guys, let's build a story. It's happening here. Romance Angel cards. Uh, keep in mind, this is a general reading for all water signs for the month of November. When I do start doing individual signs, we will also be doing uh, sexual tarot. We will not be doing that for these for these readings, but keep in mind, future readings will involve. Um, sexual tarot, tarot with mirror readings, mirroring partner energies, or mirroring sign energies. Keep that in mind. All right. Water signs, what do your romance angels want you to know? Show me what I need to see, please. From all of my water signs. Ooh, that slid in there really nice. <laughs> there we go. Romance angels, what do my water signs need to know for the month of November? Jumpers, please. What do I need to see, please, for the month of November? Show me what I need to see, please. Jumpers, please. Show me what I need to see, please, for all water signs for the month of November. Show me clearly, please. Show me what I need to see, please. Jumpers, please. I'm getting a sharp pain side of my neck right now. I don't know if someone someone is having a headache or is sick right now. Okay, we have pay attention to red flags. The signs are cautioning you to take caution. Ooh. We have romantic feelings. You are your feelings are real and worth exploring. That pay attention to red flags came out over the secret admirer card. So could be you have someone from your past who's checking in on you. 
could be you doing the checking. <laughs> Just pay attention to any red flags. This is not a connection you want. You do not have to take it. This is about forward motion because you are in a healing process is what it feels like. And you are opening your third eye and crown chakras. And you are overcoming negative energy with feminine power. You're attacking this with love. You're giving love to the situation. Water signs. This is beautiful. Let's go. Keep going, please. What do I need to see? Jumpers, please. What do I need to see, please? Thank you so much. All right. I want you to love yourself. Love yourself. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Now is the time, again, it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Love yourself. You have, give your relationship a chance. Give your relationship a chance. Whether this is you or a partner, some of you could be in a connection. Work on your partnership. Take some time for self-reflection so that you can work on this partnership. Dual energy, remember, half in the dark, half in the light. Trying to get clarity on a situation, okay? And then we have deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. This is, this is the opposing energy. This is... This is the red flag <laughs> okay all right guys this is really beautiful though love yourself first beautiful all right let's pull some rider weight to row this deck is by um Julia, Juliet Sharman Burke. It is a standard beginner's tarot. This is my first ever tarot deck, and so far I'm loving it. Although it can be stubborn, like eh, nothing wants to stick today. Nothing wants to stick today. By the way, I don't normally, will not normally shuffle off camera because if you're anything like me, I like to see the cards <laughs> as they're being shuffled. I like to see the energy being pulled in real time. Just gives it that clarification, if you know what I mean. So if you're like me, uh, let's keep it real, right? Keep it real. I feel like I need to say that. Keeping it real. Keeping it real. Okay, automatically though, I'm, oh yeah. Yep. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Yep. I didn't want to take it, but I feel like I gotta take those already okay all right we have the world in reverse oh shit sorry guys <laughs> there will be mild cursing on this channel just so you know moving forward <laughs> we have the tower we have the hermit in reverse and the Eight of Cups. Some of you guys are walking away from a situation. Some of you guys, again, are going into deep work, have, are coming out of a cycle of healing. Honestly, I want to say with this card and reflection, getting clarity on a situation, you're coming out of that. Some of you don't want to get clarity on this situation, but the tower has happened because your world was in reverse. This is an ending to something old patterns. Some of you are, have let go of a past relationship. Some of you may be letting go of a relationship now, a partner. Let me see if I see any signs here. Hermit is Virgo. 
Virgo. There's a lot of water here. Of course, this is a water reading, so I'm not, I don't really look at the signs that much, guys, um, but some people like them for clarification. So if I, see, when I see a sign that I think is relevant, I will point it out to you. We have all Virgo, heavy Virgo here. Some of you could be dealing with an earth sign. It's mostly water, though, that I'm seeing so far, aside from these major arcana. So let's pull pull one last card, outcome card. Then I'm going to clarify with my crow, crow to row. Let's pull an outcome, please, spirit. What is the advice on this? Pull an outcome card, please. No, jumpers, please. Yep. Ah, oh, too many. Too many. Way too many. But we'll see here. I may not accept all these. Let's see here. Oh, Lord. We have the devil. Devil energy. Some of you are being tempted. Some of you, I feel like, might have been... might have been a third party situation you've put you've established boundaries you've put up boundaries you don't want anything to do with this this person that's you and you don't you want out of that because at the end of this you want the ace of pentacles you're stepping into firm foundation that's why you turned your back on the situation because you turned your back on temptation and you were met you were either met with a solid boundary or you put up a boundary you put up some heavy boundaries against what you were being tempted here you went into reflection and you left the situation or you're currently turning your back on a situation because it wasn't st it wasn't stable. This is what you want. Oh wow. Some of you this is a marriage that has ended. Could be a marriage ending. Could be a marriage you're walking into. There's foundation here. Four of Wands. Nine of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. This is... He's, you know, he. this guy's got it going on. He's slow <laughs> uh, to it, but he he makes he makes clear decisions and he focuses on his pen, on on his foundations, right? Earth energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I'm feeling mostly Capricorn with this energy right now. Over this Nine of Cups, this was either someone's wish fulfillment or a cycle that ended here with this world card. Tower moment. Had to gain new perspective on a situation. Forced you to change. Forced the change. And some of you definitely went into some serious deep reflection but the unit that's why this is so heavy this is heavy guys heavy wow heavy all right I almost don't feel like I need to clarify these. I feel like you know exactly who this is, but I will. I'm going to clarify. That's why we clarify. There's a reason we clarify. Thank you guys and angels. What do I need to see, please? For all my water signs. Let's get a positive outcome for these water signs for the month of November. Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please. Let's clarify the world. Why is the world here? Okay. 
Queen of Pentacles. Look at this. Wow. Got two Queen of Pentacles. Again, stepping into this female energy to heal a situation, you are, I'm looking at, I feel like a, a, a strong water sign, or even a male, doesn't matter, sign, sex, doesn't matter. You are stepping into this energy to take care of the situation. This is what your whole read is telling you. You're, you're, you are getting stable, right? Your world, an ending has happened, and you are, you are taking back your coin. <laughs> you're like, nope. <laughs> mine <laughs> i'm gary I, there was no security in this foundation is what i feel like all right you saw the flags you saw the red flags why why is that tower moment here spirit show me that tower jumpers please show me the tower thank you wheel of fortune again double wheel of fortune in reverse double wow wow Some of you, it's like this is happening twice. Some of you gave this person a second chance. Or you keep giving this person chances is what I'm seeing here. But it's caused you to really go some, have to get clarity on a situation but you're either not wanting to see it because this hermit's in reverse. You're either not wanting to get the clarity or you know it and now you're walking out of it because when I see that you have Eight of Cups, you walked out of it, you left the situation or you're leaving it right now or you did leave it. <laughs> you said, nope, I'm not playing with you anymore. We're done with all the foolishness. All right, I'm putting up my barriers, going after my coin, Stepping into claiming back my masculine in the situation, my masculine energy in the situation, King of Pentacles, with my abundance and wish fulfillment, Nine of Cups. Hell yeah. I like it, guys. I really do. Let's clarify the hermit, please. Clarify the hermit. King of Swords. Ooh. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you gave this some, um, you, you stood firm. You were willing to talk about the situation. You sat. But y'all like the King of Swords. He's like, you come at me straight or not at all. So is the Queen. It's like there's no funny business here. We're either going to have it out with clear communication. Okay, and he's looking back at this Queen of Pentacles, your, this foundation, maybe, you know, re reverse roles as you see fit. This is the energy looking back on this situation. You got double Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Wow, this is incredible. Over a tower. It's a mass transformation happening here. This is astounding. You're walking away from this situation. I feel like many of you did, or you're thinking about it heavily, but for a lot of you, for most of you, I feel like you did. You walked away from a situation. Mm. Yes, all right. What is the advice, Spirit? Show me the advice for my water signs. My head is just spinning right now. There's such a pressure. Wow, guys. <sighs> I'm going to give you a meditation after this because some of you, I really feel like, are going through it right now. Seriously going through it. Okay. All right, show me the advice, please, Spirit. What is the advice on this situation? Show me the advice, please. Thank you. And those fell to the floor, as they do. <laughs> and this is a lot, so <laughs> let's see. We've got high priestess in reverse so again i feel you know you want that the curtains con to come down on this situation all right this tower curtains come down on it 
I feel that for sure. You've got the clarity you need. You're, I mean, you were, and you're the high priestess. She's, she's looking at, you know, both sides of an issue, trying to gain inner knowledge, inner strength, because you needed some inner strength to get through this. Is what I feel like this high priestess in reverse. Okay, and you did it. You're doing it over the king of swords double king of swords oh my god guys we got double queens we got a king and a queen of pentacles a king of some of y'all are yeah i think i see what's going on here it's high priestess clarifying the high priestess is the queen of swords over the king of swords Again, you guys are taking back this power. Some of you are putting putting up strong barriers of a, towards the situation, but they want communication. They want communication. Knight of Swords. Someone wants someone wants kill, coming in. Someone is coming in. Secret admirer. Someone's watching you in this situation, or you're watching them, and you want. They want clarification. They want communication. They're coming. They want it bad. Oh, over this Nine of Cups, King of Pentacles. Yeah, 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 yeah. Guys, what I'm going to tell you right now is if this is a third party situation, I didn't get a sign of a third party situation, but it feels like there's an issue over coin and foundation and security here. And some of you guys are literally at the point where you're like, I can't do this anymore. We're done. We're calling it quits. Okay, I I, I don't want to, <laughs> like, this Knight of Swords in reverse. I don't want to talk about it. I'm done. I've gotten the clarification I need. I've moved on. We're getting out of this cycle, double cycles here of negative karma, negative energy. Just, we're done. Going after my wish fulfillment, and I'm going to do things right and fair and just okay well this isn't a just card <laughs> but you get what i'm saying here like you're you're gonna secure your coin do it honey do it do it all right let's get some angel whispers over this reading wow guys this was pretty heavy okay Angel whispers. What do your guys and angels want you to know? What are your angels whispering to you right now? All my water signs for the month of November. Let's give them some guidance and clarity over this situation moving forward. Angels, guides, what do you want them to know moving forward in this connection? Show me clearly. Oh, show me clearly, please. Jumpers, please. Every day is a new beginning. Every day is a new beginning. Take it one day at a time. I feel like telling some of you. What else, please, Spirit? Have compassion for another. You can be willing to forgive the situation, whatever it is you're coming out of right now. It's important for you to do that. In fact, that's probably part of this transformation you're going through. It's not about the other person. It's about you forgiving to move on so that so that you can. Because someone is holding on to something, but you're like, nope. Nope. We're done. Thank you. Life never ends. Spirit endures all. So you, you're coming through it. Guys, you're coming through it. You will. And Spirit's got your back. Like, I am, some of you are, like, really stepping into your divine here. What else, please, Spirit? One more card, please, Spirit. What else? Thank you. Two more cards. Beautiful. We have, take time out for yourself. What we've been saying this whole reading, take this time to get clarity what you're doing or what some of you are doing right now, month of November, 
taking this time out for yourself. Finding a feather is a sign your guardian angels are by your side. That is what your guards and angels want you to know. If you see any feathers, for some of you, this may be very pertinent. If you're seeing feathers around, that's your sign from your angels. They're with you. They've got you. You're good. You're solid. And you are coming out of this, for sure. All right, guys. I'm going to read your Isis Oracle, and then we're going to clarify your dream. All right. Brother in darkness, overcoming negative energy with feminine power. Yes, ma'am or sir. <laughs> okay. Let's read it. Brother in darkness. Okay, 189. See how he's 189, 189, 89, 189. What's going on, guys? If those numbers are significant to you, let me know. The message of this card is whenever negative energy is present, it is a sign that we are ready to move more deeply into our feminine divine power. The brother in darkness indicates that there is negative energy either within you or outside of you, but directed towards you. Okay, excuse me. Blah, 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 blah. Either within you or outside of you, but there is, mm, this is weird but directed towards you that is providing you with a spiritual test. You shall overcome this energy with grace and triumph. Stay in your heart. There is no need to be afraid. Please take what resonates for some of you who really needed to hear that. There's no need to be afraid in this situation. You're guided, you're protected. All right, let's see what your dreams are trying to tell you. We have dance. Move to the rhythm of your soul. And we have cat. Some of you, cat. Take care of yourself. Trust that if you do, you'll always land on your feet. Sometimes... Sometimes it feels like falling, but you, you're always, like, you know instinctively how to flip back on your feet, and you're being guided to do that right now. I'm going to read these cards for you. If, you're, if you are dancing, I love this Dream Oracle deck, because sometimes you don't always remember exactly what you're dreaming about, but sometimes you do, and if I recall something, it's nice to know what your dreams, whether you are remembering them or not, are trying to tell you. Okay, dance 64. The message is twist, shout, spin, and twirl in a way that makes your heart sing. You are discovering your unique groove that inspires your every move. The sensual, magic, ecstatic freedom seeking being that you are intuitively knows how to do this with grace the more you sync up to this fluid rhythm within the easier it is to find your perfect meter rhyme and timing allow your whole soul to move through your human physical experience in such a way that no one gets their toes stepped on and everyone is invited to participate dreams of dancing represent your self-expression and a desire to be unabashed, uninhibited, sexual, passionate, and primal. These are fortuitous dreams telling you that if you give yourself permission to be more of yourself, you will magnetize partnership that will support you in your creative expression. If you dream of dancing with another person, you are harmonizing with the energy that person represents with the masculine and feminine energies. Life, the mantra of this card is, life is my dance partner, and I let it lead each step, each groove, and each move I make. That's beautiful. Wow, guys, what a beautiful reading. And for some of you, I just wanted to finally say that forever that, this dance, that give your relationship a chance, for some of you, you... You may not be walking out. You may be trying. You may be coming out of something, but you're, you're 
working on something here. If you can come at this with the with your fun, playful spirit, spirit is guiding you to fix this. I really do feel that. Okay. Alrighty, I'm gonna pull some charms, guys. So we have my treasure chest of words. Treasure chest of words here. Also have my charms box. So take what resonates. I'm gonna close my eyes and pick these. This is great. I love it. So you have the letter Z, the letter Z, 10, and A. Those letters are significant to you or numbers. You have four heart messages. You are loved. You are loved. Do blessed, laugh with love, and believe, believe in this situation. You also have this heart, excuse me, this lock. So whatever the situation is, either you're locking it out or you're locking it in. One of the two, going after again, pentacles here, foundation. This is either locked solid or it's locked for good. All right, your raft buoy messages are when you got the you got the charms. They're the raft, the buoys. Okay, you have strength. There is strength in this connection. Where do you want this? I feel like this is wanted here. And you have focus. Focus. We also have a belly button ring. <clears throat> with a orange, like a pinkish orange fake diamond, of course. <laughs> Try to hold these so you guys can see them. Belly button ring with pearls, pearl belly button ring, maybe that's significant to you. And we also have a penny, heads up. I always take pennies as a sign of heads up. I feel like it's a heads up for you as well. Heads up. Could be coin coming to you, maybe even a small amount, who knows. The year on this, if it's significant to you, is 1984. I'm going to put her on the coin. 1984. Guys, that is your reading. Guys, if any of this resonated with you, be sure to let me know in the description. Also be sure to follow, give this video a like if this did resonate with you. If you want to be notified, smash that notification bell for more notifications and uploads. I will be doing these thorough, long, uh, general readings once a month for all the signs. This is the once a month thing that I will do. Um, the remaining focus of my, of my uh, readings will be centered around um, individual readings, individual sign readings, and mirroring energy readings. But this is a general reading for the health of month of all water signs for the month of November. Be loved, stay loved, be blessed, my friends. Follow your bliss. Namaste. Love you. <laughs>